So this is you think v100 backlit gaming keyboard and mouse combo and i bought this for just 20 dollars from a local market and you can also order online i'll give some links from where you can buy it in the description down below however prices may differ a bit but honestly it surprised me i've used it for a couple of weeks from now and here is the unboxing and quick review of it so it comes in this big box and its name and model is really it too on the back there are some additional details and it comes in four models which are crack white, rainbow white, tricolor black and what I have here is the crack black. The first thing we get is our instruction manual and then our keyboard and mouse. So nothing's too special here as expected. And here is our keyboard and mouse. They have these lighting patterns on them which actually look pretty sick. The design of both keyboard and mouse is robust and quite wild with edgy corners and they have a great grip and pretty nice hand feel and both of them have quite decent weight too. And speaking of which, both of them are backlit and look pretty good when the lightning is on. As of the keyboard, it can display only three colors which are red, blue, purple and its brightness and effects can be adjusted, it doesn't have much versatility. It has 114 keys and each of them has a key life of 10 million times which is great. It is a mechanical keyboard so it is really tactile and has satisfying clicks and as you can hear yourself. It is pretty satisfying and also it has a quite nice travel too and there are two fins on the back for a better angle. As of the mouse it is multicolor but its colors unfortunately cannot be adjusted. It has 3 dpi's of 600, 1000 and 1600 and they can be adjusted using this dpi button. It has a really good grip and feels great in hand and it has two additional triggers on the left which comes handy while gaming. Each of its key has a key life of 5 million and it also has pretty satisfying click. Both keyboard and mouse is totally plastic and honestly it is not that bad. While it is not as good as those high end keyboards by Alienware or Logitech or even Asus but at $20 what more could you expect? Whilst it is pretty good, I wish it had more color customizability as currently it is quite bland and mouse weight is quite uneven too. It is light at top and heavy at bottom. And I also wish it had a bit better build quality and a less delay. But at this point, it, I just seem to be nitpicking. It certainly is a great value for money and for a person like me who doesn't do a lot of gaming, it is fantastic. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. It is not that hard. And also drop a like on this video. And as always, I would catch you guys in the next vid.